Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a vast antivirus software on a Windows 10 PC. The first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is open up our browser, head over to Google and type in Avast. Now avast.com is the official domain for the software that we're about to install. So we'll just scroll down until we get to avast.com and then click on the link and it'll bring us to their website. Now, once we're at the website, we can just scroll down and we'll automatically see a link here. Download free Windows protection. We'll click on that link and it'll download the executable file that we want to install. So we just click on it. We can minimize our browser, click on yes to the prompt that we get. And we'll just minimize the browser here and allow the software to install. So it'll take a few minutes to run through. So what Avast is actually going to do is during the installation, it's going to download all the required files. So depending on your internet connection, it might take a few minutes for it to do it. Uh, here we have the options to install or do a customized installation. Um, we can click on customize for that. If you want to also install the Avast secure browser, which we're not going to do, uh, you just have to have these two options selected, which are here by default. We're going to uncheck them. And then if you click on customize, you can choose the options that you want. So by default, it's recommended and we have all these additional features on it. But if we go into the drop down menu, uh, we can select a minimal installation, a basic one where you're just getting the basic protection and customize. Uh, you can just customize whichever features you want. We're going to select the recommended protection and click on install. And now it's going to download those components that are required on your PC and then begin to install each individual one. Again, based on your PC and the uh, internet connection that you have, this might take either a couple minutes or a few minutes. Okay, you notice that we have a shortcut on the desktop now, so we can easily open up the application when we get here. And it says you're protected. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the run first scan, and it's gonna run a series of different scans on your PC to check out if there's any threats. The first component that it's gonna scan right now is called browser threats. And it's going to do a quick scan on there and we'll see what happens. Okay. We have no browser threats. Then the next one is going to be outdated apps and nothing found there. And the next one is going to be viruses and malware, which is the most important one in my opinion. So it's going to scan the PC. As you can see, this doesn't take very long. no malware found and any advanced issues. So I don't have a firewall enabled on my PC. It obviously thinks that's a problem and my DNS settings are default. So it finds that as an issue. Uh, we can either resolve these or we can skip for now. Um, because I have my router with all these other components actually added in there, I don't actually, I'm not too worried about them. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on skip for now and skip and my scan is done. So if you do have a PC with no firewall on and you don't have any other form of protection like a router, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to take up their suggestions on how to resolve that issue by enabling the firewall on your PC. So as you can see here, the status is our computer is protected. Uh, at any time you wanna run a scan, you can click on this smart scan icon and it'll automatically scan uh, your PC for any threats in here. Here is the, the breakdown of each component. So if you go into the core shields, this is where it tells you what components are protected on your PC, the files, the behavior, your browser, and your email. Next is the virus chest. If you want to have files inspected, you can add the file in here and it'll keep it in a sandbox and have a test run on it. So you know whether it's uh, infected or not. And Wi-Fi inspector is another valuable component where it can scan your Wi-Fi for any network related threats. Now the rest of these components, you can see a little lock here on each individual one. Now these are additional components that you'd have to pay for. They're not included in the free service. So you can add those on if you'd like. Uh, ransomware shield, uh, this just protects the files on your computer to make sure they're not locked up and used against you. And here under privacy, these are more advanced features like the SecureLine VPN and other components that they're using uh, as a premium service. 
performance. Again, a couple more premium services in here. Uh, do not disturb mode means the notifications will be muted. Uh, the software updater will scan your computer for any components that need to be updated and recommend updates for them. So this is how you install the Avast free antivirus software on a Windows 10 PC. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.